My friend, first of all, a personal message. I apologize for some of the sound issues that we've been having constantly. Even on our new meditation channel, it is better than this, but still not ideal. And we've traced down the problem. It's within our television camera. Our television camera is just uh, uh, not working as well or constantly producing the good sound that it used to years ago. Looks like we're going to need a new television camera. And uh, I'm grateful in advance for the manifestation of that. Well, you know, if you follow this ministry that I talk about gratitude, as Jesus did, giving thanks in advance, knowing, seeing from the end, and living in that sense of gratitude. In Ephesians 5, verse 20, it says, Always and for everything give thanks in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to God the Father. Well, we're in February, and if you're listening to this in February or later on it, during the year, it doesn't matter because every day can be a day of profound gratitude. If you ever wake up grouchy and in a bad mood, change immediately to gratitude in your mind. Start speaking it out loud. Now, it'll be a struggle. It, it, you won't want to do it. Your whole human mind will want to stay in its, its woes. But you have the power to overpower that mind and that emotion you begin to think of the many reasons for being thankful. For some, according to the emails we've been receiving, this has been a time of profound healing. Uh, and that is perhaps the ultimate reason for rejoicing. For some, it has been a time of change a change of jobs, a change of residence, or even a change of mind. And the latter is the number one for rejoicing. For some, it's been a time to enter into a new relationship. For some, it has been a time of realizing a new nearness to God. And sometimes, Things like uh, a change of jobs, especially when you don't want it, uh, it causes other blessings to come. If you allow it, it always does. Uh, a new awareness of God. Sometimes, this is because of the human nature of us, we need some kind of tragedy to happen in our lives to turn us again in the direction of the constant blessings that could always be ours. Well, I pray that this time is a time of special contained blessings for you. That this day that you're viewing this is a container of God's blessings. I pray that this is a day of thankfulness, a day to pour out our thanks to God for all the ways all the ways that we've been blessed and for all the good that is yet to be. Let us remember today in this container of God's good to express our thanks continuously for all the ways in which we have been blessed and for all the good that is yet to be. I am thankful.